Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today, our focus is on Wi-Fi. And specifically, we're going to be talking about how Wi-Fi works. Let's start with a high-level understanding about what Wi-Fi is in the first place. And when you hear the term Wi-Fi, it's best to just think about it as a way that devices can communicate with each other wirelessly. It's essentially a method of communication that allows the devices in your home network to talk to each other. So the first question you might be asking is, where does your Wi-Fi network come from? Or where does Wi-Fi come from? There's a reason that I have my router in front of me here, and that's because Wi-Fi comes from your router. Nowadays, you'll see two different Wi-Fi networks that are broadcast from your router. And that's because your router broadcasts two different frequencies, and these are radio frequencies that your devices can connect to and communicate over. So the two different Wi-Fi networks that most routers today will broadcast are at 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. And those are just the two different radio frequencies that your router uses. And there are reasons that it has two different networks or two different Wi-Fi networks that it broadcasts. The 5 gigahertz network is for faster shorter range communication, so devices closer to your router that need higher internet speeds or higher network speeds. And the 2.4 gigahertz network is for devices that are further away, they aren't as intensive or they don't require as much bandwidth in order to operate properly. Okay, so that covers the networks. But how about your devices? How can your devices connect to Wi-Fi? Well, they all will have wireless network interface cards. I won't get into the specifics here, but they basically they have hardware that allow them to receive and send radio signals. So basically, your device, let's take, for example, say my phone is on a Wi-Fi network, a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. It has an interface, a network interface card in it that allows it to recognize that 2.4 gigahertz frequency or the 2.4 gigahertz radio signal coming from my router and send data over it, over it. It can receive data on it. It can send data over it as well. And this is what allows your devices to communicate with each other if they're on the same Wi-Fi network. And this communication happens through your router. For example, if I have a laptop and a wireless printer and my laptop wants to wirelessly print, the laptop will send the request to your router. Your router will then send that request to your printer and your printer will print just like magic. And that's all due to Wi-Fi. That Wi-Fi network that's broadcast by your router allows that to happen. There's one important distinction I want to make here when it comes to Wi-Fi in your home network. So all of your devices that connect to the Wi-Fi network, so let's say your router out of its antennas broadcasts these two different radio frequencies. The devices on your network, like my phone for example, can send and receive data over those radio frequencies and communicate with other devices on the home network. The catch is that if you just have a router in your home network and you don't have a modem, these devices can't wirelessly connect to the internet. And this is the important distinction that I want to make here. Wi-Fi is a way, as I mentioned before, for your devices to wirelessly communicate but Wi-Fi is not the same as a wireless internet connection. In order to have a wireless internet connection, you need both a Wi-Fi network and a connection to the internet. The catch is that your connection to the internet comes from your modem. So in this sense, you need both a modem and router if you want to provide 
wireless internet connections to your devices. And let's go over a, a little example here to make this a little bit more clear. This all starts, your internet connection all starts with your internet service provider. So when you purchase an internet plan, you have an agreement with your internet service provider that they will provide your home with an internet connection. So the ISP or the internet service provider will have an active connection to your home that you connect to with your modem. And I have a cable modem here. So I use a coaxial cable, this right here. It connects into a wall in my house that connects it all the way back to the internet service provider. And that's how I get a usable internet connection in my home. So what's the next step? How do we get a wireless internet connection to the devices in my home network? Well, my modem and router, as you can say, see here with this gray ethernet cable, they're connected with a ethernet cable to communicate with each other. So basically what's happening is your, your modem is establishing an internet connection with your internet service provider. Your modem is then passing that internet connection to your router. Your router is then broadcasting its Wi-Fi signals to the area, the surrounding area, which creates a Wi-Fi network. Your devices are connecting to that Wi-Fi signal and that Wi-Fi network. And any time they need to send a request to the internet, say they say, I want to pull up Google. Basically what happens is they, they enter Google into their web browser. The request gets sent over the Wi-Fi radio, radio signals to your router. Your router passes that request through your modem to the internet service provider. And then the internet service provider will return that website to your device just in the opposite direction. Your ISP passes the google.com website to your modem. Your modem then passes it to your router. Your router broad broadcasts it over its Wi-Fi network to your device. And voila, you're connected to the internet wirelessly. So that's the main distinction I wanted to make when it comes to Wi-Fi and wireless internet connections. Wi-Fi on its own is provided by your router. If you just have a router, all of your devices can still communicate with each other over that Wi-Fi network. But in order to provide a wireless internet connection, you also have to have a modem. So you're connected to your internet service provider and that can then pass the internet connection to your router and then to your devices. All right. I think that pretty much covers anything we wanted to talk about today when it comes to Wi-Fi and how it works. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I will also link to a blog post down below that I've written, which talks about where Wi-Fi comes from. It gives some specific details about how Wi-Fi comes from your router. So feel free to check that out if you want more information. And as always, thanks for watching this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.